Oh, what up, BBG? BBG? What up, BBGs? We back again with another BBG Talks episode. Yep. Uh, what are we going to talk about this time? A bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff that we don't necessarily like too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As you guys can tell from the title of this video. Um, so yeah, we'll talk about the upcoming random booster, right? We can talk about some anime stuff. We can talk about your guys' comments, mm -hmm. right? Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but let's dive right in. Let's start talking about the random booster that is coming up later this month. So really about like a week from now, really. Not, not too long from now. Yeah, it's kind of like been a while since we have had a release. And then we're getting this one now. Yeah. But we're not too excited for it, I guess, yeah, <laughs> in a way. Real. Random booster volume 24, guys. So if you guys have seen from pictures, it's kind of like all over the community now, right? You can find official pics. It's like a bunch of random bays really just like not a cool prize bay to be seen <laughs> i think after waiting for this long for a release and seeing this um i guess we shouldn't like bash it so hard i guess mm, like so, okay some of them are cool i mean right? like if you've never had any of those bays before and you just are starting and you want yeah. those parts then maybe you want it but if you want to like critique it it's pretty bad. Yeah. So is it the worst one? It's hard to say. It's um, underwhelming for sure. Very, very. So um, I guess let's talk about what we get from that set. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. We've seen something like this before where like the whole uh, random booster set was all gold, like special colors. Yeah. That was stuff. random booster volume 19. 19. Yeah. That was like end of GT, I think it was. And that one was like even worse than this one. But we got that remake of Phoenix. Okay, Phoenix yeah. Phoenix from Metal Fight. We got, it was that, that's a gold version too, right? Uh, it was the original colors, actually. Oh, original yeah, colors. Original okay. colors, yeah. yeah. But it made it worth it for yeah, us yeah, anyways, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, so that was like the one of the only reasons to get it because yeah. back in the day, that was still like very uncommon. Yeah. Um, and then ever since that happened, we also got the blue version. And, yeah. Um, but yeah, like this release, we have Uranus as the prize bay. Mm -hmm. The colors are cool. The colors are cool. Yeah, apparently it's called the Dark Flare version. Apparently, yeah. I mean, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool name. But Uranus already basically came out. Like we already seen that design before, so that's yeah. not a new part. Yeah, um, it was like kind of like an exclusive part before as well, and now they're putting it into like a more official mainstream release. But I kind of like the Dark Flare version name because in the anime, you know, Ren he calls it his flare, right? Okay. Like that's his kind of like his superpower kind of thing not superpower but like that's his aura that he gives off right and it's a dark color so dark flare version makes sense yeah so kinda... like i like um having another imperial dragon yeah that colorway actually looks pretty sick another master diabolos that's good yeah that's not bad i i think that imperial dragon's pretty nice though like the black and the gold it's pretty popping but like you know it. what's a slap in the face is oh, yeah. they gave yeah. us yeah. super hyperion which is cool you know another super hyperion but they gave us quick driver not even a quick dash <laughs> so that's technically a new driver uh, the quick driver is a new driver yeah because we've never seen that before we only regular. seen quick dash yeah. the better version now yeah. they're releasing a worse version of the part they already released before <laughs> so like, it's like they're like why? guys it's new what are you complaining about it's a new part <laughs> just why <laughs> that is funny yeah but there's basically three major parts uh, that's new we have that quick driver uh we have metal cell yeah, and metal defense. Yeah, that's going to be sick. Metal yeah. Cell. That's yeah, going to be yeah. pretty sick. True. I do like the uh, gold chassis, though, that we get on some of them. If you look at the pictures, it looks like King Helios gets a gold chassis. So that's pretty sick. Um, fire gold version. Yeah, so overall, we're just kind of disappointed in this release. But either way, we have to get it. So there goes yeah. another hundred some dollars to run if we start the full <laughs> yeah, set. Uh, yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> we have to do it. Um, the, the colors not bad. Yeah, like yeah. okay, like we'll, we'll be real, right? Like the colors are not bad. Black and gold is always. I think my favorite cool. one is the Imperial Dragon. Think so? Yeah. Yeah, I'm. It looks actually. Sick. I'm kind of digging that Glide Ragnarok too. Like, yeah. don't you think the Glide is a nice upgrade? But and the also, thing with Random black. Booster is you have to get like basically everything. Yeah. Especially if you want like to have a chance of getting one, we might as well buy the whole thing, exactly. the whole set, and then we get something like Revive Phoenix. But, we'll be ugh. like, no. <laughs> It's like how many times have you gotten some sort of Phoenix version? Yeah, right, like yeah, either dead so or revived like, so many times. Yeah. Um, but I'm really here for like the gold chassis. Like I think that's gonna be cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. 
So that's pretty much it for the random booster, guys. I mean, yeah, let us know down in the comments what you guys think. Like, yeah. do you guys like this random Maybe booster? Maybe we're the only one that hates it. We could be. Okay, hate is a too strong yeah, a word. Hate is too strong. <laughs> we're disappointed. Okay, like, it's yes. not the best. We're still going to get it. But, yeah. We're like, not mad. We're just disappointed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, it's all right. It's okay, not too bad. So that's the release information for the next wave of products. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? We got a few more rumors here too. Like there's not too much official information, but yeah, why don't you tell them about the Oh big yeah, news. so I guess anime time. Yeah. Uh, we're almost at the end of Beyblade vs. Sparking. Yeah. Now that they're doing all the... There's a few like, episodes left. Yeah, like the tag team battles and stuff like that. Um, there's season six, if you guys haven't heard. Mm -hmm. We talked about that in our like previous BBG talks before. Yeah. Not too much information about uh, season six yet. But there are a snippet from Beyblade official Japan website, uh, and apparently it involves a brand new character, another new main character. Yeah, another one. This time, he's evil. Yeah, I, I don't know if he's evil. He's a demon yeah, king. Yeah, that's demon a, king. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, we'll throw the snippet up uh, from Beyblade.jp up on the screen for you guys if you want to take a quick look at it. Obviously, it's in Japanese, so we can also throw up the English Google Translator version for you guys if you want. But yeah, it talks about the main character. Just, uh, yeah, Demon King, like Steven said. Yeah, more information is on uh, Coral Crow in the March issue. Yeah. They always like to do this. Like, they don't like to release in information uh, until yeah. they have the actual magazine printed and stuff like that. So exactly. we're going to respect that. We're not going to share anything else. Uh, yeah. You guys can Google it yourself if you want to, like, Google season yeah. six uh, pictures or something like that. So what are you hoping for for the new season? I'm just comparing it to the Metal Sega. I don't know why all of a sudden like, <laughs> I'm all about the Metal Sega again because yeah. I guess we got the anniversary the set, set and stuff yeah. like that. But I would like to see more female representation in the anime. Wow. Like, um, Very impressive view. Oh, yeah, like it's 2021. Nice. It's been six True. seasons. We have True. gotten like two, yeah, yeah. three... Not very many. Girl bladers. Like, yeah. we had um, uh, Ichika. Like, that's like the most recent one. Yeah, and she wasn't even like strong. And she didn't even have her own bait, yeah. right? So... We should get like a really strong female character in there just yeah. to mix it up. Like, a, a like in uh, Metal Fight Season 1, yeah. we had um, Hikaru. Hikaru yeah. yeah, like she was strong for a little bit. Until she, yeah, she got wrecked, she got destroyed. <laughs> but she was like competitive and she yeah. was like a good blader up until that point. Right. But like we need another strong female blader, you're right. Yeah. I do hope they bring back some of the old characters. Like come on, don't axe vault, please. Um, like bring him back again, but give him something good. I wanna do. know if there's gonna be like another time jump. Yeah. Like maybe. another five well, years. Probably. Like at this point, it's just like Vault is gonna be an like adult. twenty something. Yeah, he's gonna be like an adult right? or something. Yeah. He's a teenager right now, so like I don't think they're gonna jump like too far ahead, because usually they jump like maybe one or two years. Yeah, I think this is the but first time we've seen a like bad guy as a yeah. main character. He's yeah, like, like anti hero. Yeah, anti hero type, exactly. And which I actually think is a really good route to go. Why? It's because it's kind of like a Ryuga style type of character as well, right? And a Louis style is like not necessarily bad, but not really good at the same time either. Like, those are the best characters, man. They're usually, like, ruthless. True, I like true. those characters. But this guy looks pretty young, though. He doesn't yeah. look, like, powerful to begin with. Yeah, maybe But like apparently he's, like, kid. the destroyer of, like... Yeah. Like, that's the theme. Yeah. Destro being a destroyer or something like that. That's gonna be sick. So, I'm yeah, maybe by the time you guys watch this video, all the information is gonna be all out already. Yeah. So we're just, like, um, like speculating like, on, yeah. on things that you guys already know. But I wonder, you know, five months later, are we gonna be right? Like, yeah. this is gonna be an, a good season. I, yeah. I, I hope so. I always say in other BBG talks that I like having like darker themes in the animes and stuff like that. This could be a step towards that, mm. right? Like the main character is more on the dark side of things, right? And you know, this might be it. Prayers may have been answered yeah. for me anyways. But uh, Anything yeah. else? What else do you want to see on uh, yeah, season six? I, I want to see at least Vault come back. Okay. You know what I mean? Vault, yeah. Shu, the main dudes, right? You know, Free coming back would be cool. The brothers like Hyuga and Hikaru, like they're cool. Cause they're bros, but at the same time, like I don't. But they're like washed out. Yeah, now by like, the end of the yeah like I don't even know if I miss them. To be honest, mm. it's hard to say. It's kind of like uh, like drum. Like, did you miss him in Sparking? Yeah, exactly. Like he he was such a big deal in GT, and then when Sparking came along, he's just like, no one really, Chuck. Yeah, like, no one really cares <laughs> about him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. Yeah. R. I. P. Some characters probably they're gonna give up on. Oh, they're gonna axe a few. For they're gonna sure. let it rip on some of them. Yeah, definitely. Um. But yeah, that's the anime update. Yeah. Um, I'm sure we'll see more like next month mm -hmm. in March. Yep, stay tuned, guys. We'll do another BBG Talks when there is more official news on that and yeah. uh, when there's like more graphics and all that stuff. I want to hear like the wildest theory from you guys. Yeah. Um, so let us know in the comment section below. Um, 
It's, good it's great that before real information comes out, we can actually speculate yeah. in any way possible, in any direction. So I want to see some like yeah. crazy theory in the comments. Yeah. That's, a, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, throw it up and then maybe if you guys have some really good uh, theories, we can throw it up for the next BBG Talks as well. But yeah, like now's your time, right? You literally throw anything and it could be true. It could be, right? It, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right, yeah. you don't know, right? Spreading false rumors. Yeah, <laughs> yeah That's how exactly. rumors start. <laughs> exactly. Uh, okay, so... Let's move along, I guess. Yeah, move along. Are we doing comments? Yeah, let's look at some of your guys' comments from the last few videos. So, should we start off with the last BBG Talks? Um, sure. Yeah. I, th I think I have a couple of start or hearted. Yeah, yeah, I think me too. Okay, let's look at this one. Yeah, so our last BBG Talks was uh, us reacting to Beyblade memes from Reddit. And this top comment was uh, pretty funny. Well, I mean, it was just relatable. Yeah. So it says, that AOT thumbnail hit way too hard, our dear Sasha. So I'm surprised, actually, that there was this many Attack on Titan fans. Because there is, like, a hundred, like, hundreds of comments on this video. Uh, just about Attack on Titan. So right. shout out to all you anime weebs out there and stuff <laughs> like that. Like much love. Yeah. That's Hopefully really we cool. didn't uh, offend you guys too much or made yeah. you cry in the, exactly. in the basement. That whole <laughs> scene did hit hard. <laughs> yeah. Definitely cried a little bit. Um, but yeah. Shout out to all you anime lovers. Like it's awesome seeing you guys in the comments. But yeah. Maybe yeah. we'll do more BG talks and like other anime stuff. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Shout out to you guys. Shout out. Um... I guess uh, on that note, I have a comment from um, Indominus116. He said, as a man of culture, I still want to go to Japan. Ah, this comment yeah. hits really hard because, yeah. you know, with the COVID stuff happening and like us not being able to travel and stuff like that. And I was like looking at our previous vlogs from Japan. Man, that was such a fun yeah, trip. Word that up. was like, was it three years ago now? More, more than that. More than that now. Wow. It's more wow, than that wow. now. I think um, we went to Japan the first time together in yeah. 16, 2016. Yeah. It's five years now almost. Right. Going five. It's crazy. But yo, yeah, if you guys like anime, if you guys like Japanese food, I mean, yo, you got to put Japan up on, Japan that, on that travel list like there. Like one of the best places. Straight up. On earth. Straight up. So yeah, like if you can, whenever you can, go and uh, check it out. Travel. Uh, we're definitely going to go to Japan again, I'm sure. Oh, 100%. Once things are back to normal. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, man, those are some pretty fun times uh, with those vlogs, like, looking back. Kind of cringy, but funny at the same time. So, <laughs> so yeah, but, watch it if you guys want to, maybe not. Yeah, but uh, traveling to Japan is always fun. It's awesome. Plus, if you guys are just a fan of Beyblades in the first place, which, if you're watching this video, you've got to be a fan of Beyblades. Yeah, right? you, you like, guys are already, already like, going, what, 10 yeah, minutes in? <laughs> it's already worth going there already. Yeah, 10 minutes in this video if you guys don't even know what you're watching i, yeah. I hope uh i hope you're at the right place uh but yeah it's, it's like japan really want to go back super fun yeah we just have to be a little bit more patient guys right things will clear up eventually and we'll all be able to travel again okay so the next comment that we have here is from our most recent spin stealing one from our media El Drago remake so the comment that i have here says remember guys it's on the wrist so yeah, we always like we always say that basically when we do a hand spin video, yeah. and uh, yeah, there's actually quite a few comments in this video about us saying that, and we, yeah, we've been saying we it for said years that the now. First time as a joke, um, yeah. in the like 2011 videos, like, like 20, no, 13, not 11, maybe, 2013, like, maybe, like yeah, 14, 2013, 14, 14 around yeah. there, um, on the Medial yeah. Drago video, which yeah. is now gonna be like the second most. Uh, viewed yeah. video on our channel yeah. which is super cool yeah so thank you for the support guys yeah we kept on saying it's on the wrist because i think it was based off some rap song or something <laughs> at the time it was just, it's on the wrist <laughs> and we kept on saying that non-stop yeah and yeah and a lot of you ogs remember us saying that too and you from guys commented video. it yeah. yeah and like from all the other ones from fafnir videos we true, kept saying true. it so yeah shout out to you guys who remember all those little things yeah hand spin videos are always super fun to do and it seems like you guys enjoyed it a lot dude getting that perfect hand spin it's like no other feeling. Trust yeah, like when you guys just flick the wrist yeah. and it just goes. Woo. Brendan's actually really good at that. That's why every hand spinning video we always get Brendan to <laughs> do it instead. It's when I'm bored on the computer or something on my other hand that's not using the mouse or whatever. I'm just like just just spinning base. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Next comment. Uh, okay. Yeah. Next comment. Uh, yeah. Okay, we see this comment like a lot on BBG Talk videos. I'm sure we'll see one here because we're mentioning yeah. it. But um, it's. Uh, Uriel said BBG Talks comes on and then everyone just left online class. Yo, typical. <laughs> See that? I read Is it that easy to skip video. school nowadays? Yeah. 
you're all liars. I know you guys aren't actually skipping. I hope. <laughs> Yo, yeah. but yeah, we see that comment a lot actually. Like when you scroll through the comments on any of our videos yeah. nowadays, like, like at least one of them is gonna talk about skipping online class, putting uh, on mute or something like that. Yeah. And uh, guys, don't don't do that. You know, at least putting school. on <laughs> putting on mute is better than skipping at least. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm sure they have to still have their like Zoom open. Yeah. And just they just mute, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's but like, funny. I gotta go to the bathroom or something. <laughs> yeah, you guys gotta gotta chill with that, man. Don't skip. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Um, maybe let us know in the comment section below what are you guys doing right now? Are you supposed to be in school? Or are you like on a break or something? Yeah. If, for those good kids. If we, if we post this video in the middle of the night, you guys can't possibly be in class, right? It's like uh, then, you know, then you guys should be sleeping instead. Unless they watch the next day. Yeah, yeah. depending <laughs> on where you are. It's like Sometimes we post in the middle of the night, I'll make a comment like right off the bat or something like that, but late night gang. Yeah. And then we got people from like the other side of the world like, yo, it's not nighttime, it's morning time. Yeah, people don't it's really like, understand time zones. Yeah, it's just tripping me up. <laughs> <laughs> Making our comments irrelevant. <laughs> right. Okay, that's all the comments I got. Okay, I got one last one here. This is from our Mirage Fafnir uh, Nothing Break video. So this one says, this was a really cool video and all, but on an unrelated side note, they did Free and Cisco so dirty in the recent episode and most of Sparking. So this comment was from a few days ago. Um, and yeah, what do you guys think about that? The whole Free and Cisco combination there for the tag team? Free in season two was world's number one. Yeah. Then went, yeah, 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 yeah straight up, <laughs> straight up. Just he wins like twice in the anime or something like that. I was like, it. But I agree though. They make him seem so intense, and then all of a sudden they just like lose, 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 lose. That's why they put him against, or put him with Cisco, so everybody can blame Cisco. <laughs> and then his character rank will go yeah, down. That's funny. People also like free, yeah. you know, character development. Yeah. That's, that's how. Sad. That's how the um, plot. Yeah. Like people behind the scenes say they you just thought it all out. You know. You just threw Cisco under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, let us know actually in the comment section guys, out of all of the tag teams in this tournament that's going on right now, which tag team is your favorite? I'm actually a pretty big fan of the Louis and Drum team. Mm -hmm. I don't know, they're, they're kind of cute. You know what I mean? They're like buddy buddy and stuff like that. And Louis is usually like lone wolf and he's like all chill with with uh, Drum now and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Like yo, they're a cool combo. They're the dragon, dragon yeah, fan. Yeah man, like they're actually pretty sweet. Dragon actually, fan. Like, yeah. So let us know which tag team is your guys favorite. Bad. Um, but yeah, let us know. We talked about so many different things here, right? What do you think about the new random booster that's coming out in about a week or so? What do you think about the new anime that's coming out, right? The new season? Let us know your theories and uh, about the tag team for the current Super King uh, kind of finale here. Which is your favorite tag team uh, pair up? Oh, and forgot to mention, do you guys see our merch? Ah, yes, as always. Now, pretty much like we're just like rocking these now. I don't. Yeah, we got honestly, I didn't. Like, I wear this, like, every day because yeah, I'm legit. at home, like, 24-7. <laughs> legit. And they're comfortable. For real, though. But It yeah. does, sounds like an advertisement. It sounds like I mean, an it is an advertisement. It is an ad. Guys, go get your merch yeah. now. <laughs> they're so comfortable. The best hoodies you'll ever have. That's so jokes. Yeah. But, yeah, guys, check it out on our Teespring store. Uh, we have, like, a few other new items in there. I think we just added sweatshirts. Yes, there and too. we're going to look into other ways to get some other designs yeah. uh, in. So... Stay tuned, but thank you so much for the support. I guess that's everything. Oh, make sure you like the video. Of course. Uh, and subscribe. Yeah. And, and that's, that's pretty much it. Yeah. As always, peace out.